We are Chris and Ken. We recently returned from a four months journey exploring Central America filled with incredible experiences. We are now traveling around the Balkans, excited to discover and learn more about this historic region in southeastern Europe. We are in uh, Split and uh, we are a couple of uh, kilometers out of Split, so to avoid driving into the city center, our host recommended us to, uh, to rent some bikes and um, we hope we can rent some bikes at the nearby hotel but we actually don't know because we're not staying there so um, that will be our first stop today It was not possible to rent any bikes at the hotel but they recommended that we went up the street 500 meters next to a store and there it should be possible to rent some bikes. So how do we rent these? Did you unlock it? Yeah, I think it's fine. Right. Right. We have bikes! I think we're good to go. So, um, you have to download this app called Next Bike, and apparently it didn't accept MasterCard, so we used Visa instead. And then on the side there are these uh, bike numbers. So I just entered those and I think we might be charged something when we return them depending on how long we rent them. But like uh, you don't just, know the price? Uh, we just paid 10 kuna right now. But they, yeah. So I think we are... <laughs> awesome! Yeah. Bikes have now been uh, returned, so it was uh, took us 26 minutes to drive from our apartment starting point, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Up, up here. Um, 20 kuna in total, 10 per bike. So that was, uh, and the app registered when we uh, put them into the to the lock. So all good, all good. We are just at the edge of the historical center here in Split, something called Diocletius Palace, which is actually more like a, a big uh, fortress area with these amazing old buildings. It was built for Roman Emperor Diocletian, and um, it was a place where he could retire when he was not in Rome. This drawing, you can see that it looks more like a big fortress um, being able to defend than an actual palace. Um, but we came in from the east gate, and there's also a northern gate and a western gate. I guess the Romans never really left. <laughs>
cool things about this place uh, is that people actually live in here. So there are just regular apartments. Of course, there are also hotels and a few museums, but people still live here, which is kind of cool. This place just stinks with charm and coziness. It's super cool. That was meant in a very positive way. <laughs> Around the old city you will find these uh, old plaques with information, also in English, about the places and the families and who live there. So, cool info. So around this uh, old city centre there are many of these small cafes where you can just sit down and have a drink. Um, a glass of wine, a beer, a soda, and with these the surroundings, it's just super cozy. You can actually visit the cathedral and go up in the bell tower, and also you can visit the crypt underneath. Um, but it's around four o'clock right now and they close at five so what we're going to do is come back tomorrow and take our time to explore these uh, places um, there's also a treasury and a fifth place baptistry something churchy stuff um, but having just an hour would be rushing things and we don't like that we don't like that so we're coming back tomorrow anyways so yeah, I look forward to that. I think we reached the Riviera of, uh, of Split and a lot of cafes and restaurants around here. What did you find? A candy store. <laughs> and I found Liquid. On our six months of travel, this is the first time we found Liquid. I'm stoked. <laughs> and look at the presentation here. In these treasure chests. So we paid uh, 60 kuna for 280 grams. It's about 22 kuna per 100 grams. So it's super expensive. But we got licorice. Got a little bit of licorice. <laughs> it's no secret that uh, Split and Dubrovnik and also Shibinik have been used for filming locations for an HBO series called... Yeah. <laughs> And it's everywhere, in souvenir shops, and there's an iron throne you can sit on and get your picture taken. And this is a museum? This is a museum. Yeah. We are probably not the biggest Game of Thrones fans, but um, we, we will visit some of the filming sites here in Croatia, so you will see it around. Okay, we can do like 60 seconds of split history, <laughs> very quickly.
Okay, 60 seconds. Okay. Go. Okay, so Split was founded around the 3rd, 2nd century BC by the Greek. It was later um, conquered by the Romans. It was um, at some point um, uh, completely surrounded and dominated by the Byzantine Empire and surrounded. That was 20 seconds. Uh, then <laughs> up until before uh, World War I, it was uh, controlled by um, the Venetians and the Austro-Hungarian Hungarians. Then came the Second World War, where it was uh, um, invaded by the Axis, uh, by uh, Nazi Germany and Italy also annexed it at some point. That was 40 seconds. 50. Uh, and then it was uh, it was actually bombed by mm -hmm. also the Allies yeah. and uh, was finally released mm -hmm. or, or freed by uh, Croatian uh, partisans. Five. Oh. And now Three, it is two, one. the biggest city in the Dalmatian uh, region. <laughs> All right. It's around 5 p.m. and I think it's time for us to find somewhere to eat. Yeah. Find some dinner. Uh, these spaces here, it could fit the portcullis and they could lower it like tick 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 Yeah, and then they would have also a gate. And they would typically have another defensive gate in here and this would just be one big kill zone with archers up top and soldiers. That was dinner. <laughs> and I'm enjoying a licorice for dessert. <laughs> it's super hard. Nobody eats liquids down here. No. <laughs> so now we're just uh, scrolling out of this old town of uh, Split. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trying to find some bikes again. And then uh, we will see Split again tomorrow. Absolutely. We are out again on another beautiful day here in Split. Yes. With the blue sky and the sun is up and yeah, now we will go and check out if the bikes are still there. Because we're heading back into the old city in Split because we had uh, the cathedral and a couple of other places that we didn't feel we had time to explore properly yesterday. No! No bikes! But we noticed uh, yesterday that there was another bike station about a kilometer or so up the road. So let's go up there and see if, if there's anyone available there. You think it's cold? Uh, yeah. Very much. It's uh, refreshing <laughs> and I'm glad we brought our bathing uh, yeah. shoes. We haven't seen a single beach in Croatia with white sandy beach. No, it's. Uh, I think we should expect mostly stony beaches. Yeah, pebble stones. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's find the bikes. Found a bike station. But with only one bike. I actually see two bikes. So if you take that one, I will take this one. <laughs> True. <laughs> Is that okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> well. <laughs> ah. Can you sit up here? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's about two kilometers to downtown, so maybe we should just walk up there and then we hopefully 
bike back. Bike back. Okay, let's go. But it is nice. <laughs> That was a good 3k so far. So far. Now we found some bikes. Yeah. And uh, Kenneth says we are only about a kilometer from the city. So I don't think it, uh, it's really worth it, right? No, I don't think it's worth no. it. Okay. I take it back. We actually have found a sandy beach here in uh, in Split. So it's not all pebble stone beaches here in Croatia. the harbor here in Split you can uh, take the ferry um, some of them with uh, your car to the island of uh, Var and a couple of other places but we're not gonna do that but this is uh, this is a docks from where they uh, depart In Diocletian's palace. Diocletian's. <laughs> Diocletian's palace. Diocletian's palace. Yeah. Yeah. And we're in good time. It's half past twelve. So we're gonna go and buy the tickets to see all the five sites. Yeah. This uh, purple ticket gives us access to the treasury behind us. Uh, the cathedral just across the square, uh, the bell tower, uh, the crypt of St. Lucy underneath, and then St. John Baptistery, which is next door. So we're gonna see the treasury first.
that was the church. Let's go check out the bell tower. <sighs> They're so steep. Only 33 steps. But they high steps. Okay, 95 steps. So far. Oh yeah, that's more. <laughs> How many? 175 steps. And we are rewarded with this view. And now we will go down the 175 steps again. But uh, yeah, it's also the all five, the big five, <laughs> <laughs> in the Diocletian's palace yeah. that uh, that you have to see here in Split. Find some bikes. Yes. Yes. We really don't have any luck with these bikes. Next station. Finally. What do we see? We see bikes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ah. So we can get home without having to walk three kilometers. Four. Yeah, four. four. Alright, let's just get them back and get home. Yes. Sir.